come here to share these memories, to feel that we are a close circle of friends united by one person, and that's Andrew. And in a sense, we'll be united forever by his relationship to Andrew. Andrew's friend Alina wrote the following beautiful opening words. Sadly, her grandmother just passed away, so Alina couldn't be here with us today. Andrew's life has ended so abruptly in a tragic accident. It was a great shock for us to suddenly lose a friend who had so much energy, love for life, and many years ahead of him to enjoy his passions and share them with others. So many of us are trying to make sense of what happened. Some might be asking, why Andrew? Why now? Could we have prevented this loss? What happened? There may be many thoughts and speculations and wishes. Yet, what we're sure of is that Andrew's life, the years that he spent with us, made everyone's lives brighter. He forever touched our hearts. He taught us so much. Some say that every relationship is eternal. It continues to evolve even if the person is not here close to us. As we all go through our lives, we learn to appreciate the experiences, lessons, and love that we once shared. We're lowering the flags. It will be done by one of Andrew's colleagues from UBC. In particular, Katerina took us to um, Bowen Island where we saw the bench where Andrew sat in, um, a few years ago. And it was so um, important to us and it really warmed our heart to be able to do it. I was five times in the guest of Andrew. Sashenka was one time. He showed us all the beauty that he showed in this country. Мы побывали на всех, на большинстве этих озер. Мы видели горы, мы видели его любимый городок White Rock, потом рыбачий поселок. Везде он нас возил, все нам рассказывал, до мелочей, всю историю вот этих мест. 
И я видела, что он действительно полюбил этот край, полюбил Канаду. Получилось, пол жизни прожил в Украине и половина жизни в Канаде. Вот так, как это раздвоилась его жизнь. И там, и там ему было хорошо. Он радовался, приезжая на Украину. Он радовался, когда мы приезжали к нему. We visit, I visited Andrew um, around six times, and he showed me his favorite places. I saw White Rock, I saw Steveston, and I felt that he really fell in love with Canada. He spent half of his life in Ukraine and half in Canada, and he loved both of these places. And I feel like his heart was in both of them. <laughs> походе, в том последнем походе, которым он закончил свою жизнь. Мы, Аленочка и ее супруг Стив, и Анжелочка, Ашка, мы все прошли два с половиной километра этой тропы, этого Мэннинг парка. Мы там попрощались с его прахом. Возложили цветы. И вот здесь он где-то летает. Ушел с водой, с воздухом. Где-то кружится вокруг нас. Я так думаю, я так ощущаю, что он где-то здесь. И сейчас нас слышит. Пусть будет земля его пухом. Царствие небесное. Yesterday, um, Elena, um, Ashka, and, um, Stan, Angela, and uh, my daughter Sasha and I went to see his last final hike. We didn't do the whole hike, but we did about two and a half kilometers in, and so five kilometers total, and we found a beautiful spot to say goodbye to Andrew and to release his ashes. And uh, we feel his, uh, he left us with water and with earth, and we feel that his spirit is flying over us, and we hope that we can see us, um, that he can feel our hearts, and um, would like to say, um, rest in peace, dear Andrew. Так, чтобы, так, чтобы не пришлось потом жалеть. Он старался по максимуму вот этой жизни взять всех красот, uh, всей радости, потому что вот мы сейчас все видим, что жизнь может оборваться в любой момент, поэтому надо брать пример и жить так, что потом не пришлось жалеть. И Андрей для нас должен быть примером. Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra, I'm Andrew's sister. I'd like to say that Andrew was such a cheerful, sunny person. He never had any regrets. And his message to us, I feel, is live your love, life fully. Um, do not regret about the past. Um, enjoy every single moment that you, um, that you have in your life. And um, I feel it's um, his legacy, it's his message. Around 20 years, right on this campus. This land still remembers Andrew's footprint. We can truly say that Andrew fell at home here, on, on campus along among his colleagues. He warmly saw his family and some of his friends here on campus. We made a tour around Andrew's workplace, office, Rose Garden, Black Plaza, where we all stand at the moment. Ali and security department has requested to organize this beautiful ceremony at UBC campus to honor Andrew's life and have a flag lowering ceremony. The three flags will remain half mass for the rest of the day. Now, so now Ali will, would like to say a few words. Thank you. Um, thank you, friends and family. Welcome to UBC. It's hard to say anything except he had a family here too. To be honest, I wrote something, but it's just hard to read. Andrew joined us in March 2001 at uh, UBC. One of the things I 
just thing is left out to say, perhaps, is every contact that he made was a positive on contact. So I tell my friends and family, if you want to learn something, learn that. Keep that positive contact. He's truly missed, but will not be forgotten in this universe and with his friends. Thank you for all coming. Thank you for joining his rest of his family here. And thank you, family, for giving us such a great chance. Andrew loved to travel and explore new places. Many times we inspired each other. When I show him pictures of my trips, he would decide to go where I had went. He went to Utah and Arizona. Andrew always came when I was preparing to leave for an adventure or trip and said goodbye and wished me safe travels. He always shared photos of our trips. Andrew and I were born, both born in February, so we spent several birthday dinners together. We ate until we were two stuck for birthday cake. There is a secret that only real friends know, and, and it is this. All the mountains and valleys in the world cannot separate two friends who have the same interests and heart. A life well lived is a precious gift of hope and strength and grace from someone who has made my world a brighter place. I will miss Andrew for a very long time. Mm -hmm.